Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to toggle the running and walking in Unreal Engines just by pressing the shift. Then now it is the walking mode. If I press the shift again, it toggle the running mode again. So I will step by step show you how. Start from now. This is my old project. So now I'm going to close this and I will start a really new project begin with nothing first just open your unreal engine 4.26 to start a really new project now as demo i will just choose the third person third person game and i will name it tutorial walk walk and run zero one this is just a demo a new project start with nothing i will show you how to set the blueprint step by step then you achieve when you press shift then your avatar will switch to walk mode and when you press shift again your avatar will run all right now this is this is a new project the main the, the, the main character is this one the mana queen if i play you only can run you cannot walk so what you need to adjust is click the content and then go to the mannequin animations this one this is the third person's idle run blend space All right the first step double click the blend space and then you can see this one is third person walk you drag to the center now this is the first step when the speed is zero it is idle and when the speed achieve about 180 something it is walking move and then next one if it achieve 374 it is full speed running right once once you adjust this you can save it close next one double click the third person animation blueprint and just have a check you have animations you, you have everything completed All right if not if no problem already you can just close it back to the contents and the third person blueprints double click double click the blueprint this is your main avatar the mannequins double click the third person character now you are going to set set that event graph The event graph you can set the buttons first you right click here left shift this is a keyboard event if you press left shift button what will happen next you are going to set a variable here running this is a running variable next if you press shift button if you press press shift you need to set running all right because of this is a toggle button at the beginning the running click compile the running is true you set it true compile it yes at the beginning by default the avatar is running all right drag out get running so if you press the shift it will shift to the walking mode means you don't want it to run you need to create a not statement the not boolean to make sure at the first time you press the shift then your character is not running that is the meaning if not running then you should set the branch
to set the branch the condition of the running if yes if the avatar is running then you set max walks okay you need to untick here the context sensitive then set max walking max walk speed set as 600 600 means you can run very fast and what is the target the target is the character movement Compile it first, drag, character, movement. Why I cannot get? Get character movement. Sorry, just just right up from here. It's easier. Character movement. That is the target. Then you compile. That means when you press the shift, it will check whether now the, the avatar is running or not running. If running, set maximum speed to 600. If not running, then set maximum walking speed set max walk speed as 150 then you drag the character movement to here the target like that we, we're done this compile now we back to we just back to our avatar our game try to play now by default the avatar is running when i press shift it switch to walking mode the maximum walking speed you can adjust as well when I press shift again now this is running mode again press shift again then it toggle the walk or run buttons all right that's all for today about how to set walking and running toggle buttons thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all to activate the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation and game developing.